Nanali and I are going to a place that we haven't been to since the beginning of the year. Yes, <laughs> it's huge. We bought stuff that we didn't plan on buying. Ooh. Oh, it's so cheap, I'll buy more. <laughs> but then on the other hand, Shake your lemonade And you don't have to jump on anybody's train Don't you sweat it when they're throwing you the shade You can make it You can make it what you want well, Pick it up, sip a sip a cup of tea Yeah, looking down from where you thought you'd never be The paparazzi flash cashing on the scene You can make it Make it what you want You can make it You can make it what you want What is up guys, welcome to another day in my life here in Manila. Today is a sad and an exciting day. Sad day because I have to return the beautiful F900R. What a beast, but exciting day because I get back our beautiful motorcycle. It just had its service done and should be good for another season of road tripping. And there are some exciting trips that I am looking forward to, but now Let's go and figure out where our bike is. Looking good. Hi guys. Hi Hello. sir. Uh, we'll just prepare the papers. Okay. And then uh, we're good to go. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Wow, so clean. <laughs> oh no, I'm by you. And uh, this is our uh, what we performed. Uh, running in check. Uh -huh. Change oil and oil filter, and then checking the inspection of everything. Okay. Everything is good. We Perfect. replace also the yes, uh, oil and oil filter. And this is our final closer. All right, basic. perfect. Yes. And have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Alright guys, quick vehicular change at home and now Nelly and I, hello, now Nelly and I are going to a place that we haven't been to since the beginning of the year and the reason why we haven't been there is we came close when we returned to Manila and saw the sheer amount of people that were there and then turned around and decided not to go there but yes. yeah. I think now the time is right yeah. to finally go. And the place we haven't come to in such a very, very long time is Landmark. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Landmark is actually the place where we used to always come for groceries because it is uh, quite a lot cheaper than when you go to Rustons. But Rustons is always way less busy. There's so much less people there. It's less of a wait and it's less crowded, which makes life so much safer but i think now coming here on a tuesday in the early afternoon should be the time where the least people are here so it should be kind of safe and yes it is very very quiet today very very good yeah very good hi how are you hi. <laughs> Welcome to the <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> How cool! <laughs> oh nice! Huge fan of these lately, right? Just for the oven. Yeah. With some olive oil. Roasted. Oh, 
Okay, so the last time when we came to Landmark, this whole area was actually closed down, shut down completely. There was no fresh produce, no fresh fish. Uh, but it seems like they reopened again, which is really nice. Um, <laughs> it's, it's really crazy when you start comparing prices, how much of a difference it makes. So I think we're going to do the uh, bulk shopping here at Landmark. And uh, for small things, we'll just order. Uh, but yeah, kind of every time we are here, we spend so much time by just looking around because there is so much more stuff. <laughs> I don't know, but somehow I feel like we need this for take up this day. Maybe like a smaller one, something like this. Mike, yes or no? Yes. Yes, that's something that we didn't have at home. No. Would have come in really handy. Also, just spotted the olive oil that we are usually using. So this one is. 404 uh, and I think at Rustin's it's 660. I've just discovered something. This package of safflower saffron costs 22 pesos. And for this amount you would pay like around five dollar in Austria and I guess ten dollar in uh, in the US getting some <laughs> okay here we have a different brand not sure if it's the same looks like the same i lost you where were you i was so i was looking for you so meanwhile i got my own part. oh okay why'd you get this oh oh yes dried basil leaves cool green curry this is like powder, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. And I'm not sure if this is the saffron saffron. Because the, the other saffron that I look at that I saw on the opposite was more expensive. Yeah, it can't be. This is too cheap to be real. Yeah, I know. <laughs> too good to be true. <laughs> Maybe it tastes it's like fake, this faux saffron, which yeah. is also okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think it's starting to get colder. Yes. I think we forgot how long it takes to stand in line. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back Okay, we are finished with grocery shopping and now I remember why we stopped going to Landmark. Because we spent so much time there. Yes. <laughs> it's huge. It's huge. Oh, I think we spent almost one and a half hours at Landmark, which is not good for us because... Yeah. <laughs> and also we spent one and a half hours worth of money at Landmark. No, it wasn't that expensive. Yeah. But we bought stuff we didn't need. Well, we bought stuff that we didn't plan on buying. Yes. That's something that Landmark does very well. It gets you to buy things that you didn't plan on buying. Like, yeah. oh! Ooh. Oh, it's so cheap, I'll buy more! <laughs> but then on the other hand, it, like a lot of the products that we get at Rustin's, they have them here as well, yeah. just a lot cheaper. But yeah, it definitely got busier within the hour that we spent there. We're back at home. Yes, we're back at home. I'm so sorry we left you alone. No, yes. <laughs> she's so upset. <laughs> By the way guys, this little kitten is so naughty lately that we had to move the Christmas tree from the living room to the office because for some reason she leaves the tree alone here. Anything to add from you? Oh, cute. It's a little bit overexposed. Can you do it again?
Mmm, it smells so good in here. Yeah, we're gonna we're about to eat something very, very delicious. Um, I'm making us a uh, poke bowl, mm -hmm. a spicy tuna poke bowl, and some tuna tataki. We still have these beautiful pieces of yellowfin tuna from Ray Food Shop, and yeah, I thought what better opportunity to use like such high quality mm. tuna for like poke bowl and some tuna tataki. It's gonna be so yeah. delicious. Oh, it smells so good, but I'm trying to cook without tasting. Uh, so I stay in my fast as long can, as possible. I can smell it and it's killing me. It yeah. smells so, so good. Especially like with the spicy tuna sauce and with the wasabi vinaigrette that I made. I just kind of like taste it and then I spat it out without swallowing so I don't break my fast too early. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I got a, a nice uh, cucumber salad. So it's going to be like a Japanese food evening, I guess. Oh, nice. Okay guys, so here's the spicy tuna poke bowl. Just some sushi rice with a little bit of uh, lime juice and some soy sauce, some spring onions. Then I have this pickled cucumber salad that's with ginger, garlic, soy sauce, some chili oil. And then here we have the ahi, no not the ahi tuna, sorry, the tuna tataki, sesame crusted tuna tataki with a wasabi vinaigrette. vinaigrette. Yeah. So I cooked this actually without recipe. This is just all like from memory, kind of. Mm. 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 What is that? That's the tuna tataki with the wasabi vinaigrette. Amazing. Oh, it's so good. Nice. How Can't watch you eating. It's okay. It's enough. It's enough. It's not so a good. food vlog. <laughs> <laughs> 